This is the time on Plus TV Africa where we bring to you and analyze the biggest sentiment stories and of course um, interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin and I have my co-anchors with me as usual, Ife Omai and Ife Olu What's good man? How good. I'm orange. I'm, like, I'm loving the color. <laughs> sunshine. I had to be the sunshine because I don't know why you two are doing. If I just likes to copy me, you it, know? Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't no, like no, I'm, I'm not actually this. copying well, anyone. You copy because me if I it's, it's, you it's the message on the shirt that counts. What's Decide the your ways, right? Decide your Way. ways. No, All there's right, something. Though. It's still the same thing, it was just repeated. Oh. So you need to decide your way and decide your way, you know? Uh, Stop every way now, we. Anyway, now. Just we. decide. Last, last. Just decide at the end of the day. Okay. Anyway, now, we. Yeah, so let's get right into it. Um, Olamide says Davido's new album, A Better Time, is filled with bangers. He took to his Instagram stories where he wrote, quotes, heard Omo Babolowo's album yesterday and saw some unreleased videos. What a time to be alive. Afrobeat's way too massive now. Bangers, end of quotes. And of course, it's been nice to mention, I saw Davido's story as well where he put love YBNL. So I'm liking that vibe, actually, I do. Well, yeah, in as much as I like that vibe, I really don't like the same vibe that Davido tends to give, that when you are beginning to have beef with somebody, you tend to tilt towards somebody else. That ha! You know. No, wow. No, I'm just saying, no, no. In fact, no. what has Davido done to you? Like, no, see, I don't have any beef with Davido. So because he has beef with somebody, Relax. which is, he must not which show is love speculated, though. Else. He must not Relax. show love to him. Oh, yeah. No. Relax. Just, you guys, just calm. Just be coming down, down like this. Down. Like, down. like okay. this, yeah. Okay. So, um, it's okay for you to say love, why be no. I saw the video, it was genuine. I'm not even going to lie about it because I saw their vibe when they when it was listening to the song. I saw the stories. I saw Lamide's stories. I saw Lamide's all the people in his team. Their stories that I follow, right? And um, it was actually a vibe when he actually went to play a better time for. All army days, so it's actually a good thing, right? But when you now try to start making it look like it's excess love for one person, but don't get me wrong, all army day and David Do, they've been together from way back. I mean, they, they have the bad, bad, they, bad, they, song. They, they, so, what are you bad, talking they about? They have bad, bad, bad. Let me even you don't even know the timeline. They have <laughs> bad, bad, <laughs> bad. They have, uh, they have, uh. That's a banger. They have another song with Wale. Do you understand? So I'm not my point exactly is that <laughs> it was I just love, just eating you somehow. Uh, it's, yeah, 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 like it's okay for you to post the videos, but when you start putting YBN on I, when I saw that, I was expecting that maybe there's a collaboration with Olamide on that song or maybe a so, YBN. Hold oh, oh, up, hold oh, up. Or maybe a YBN artist. I wanna ask oh, you. Hold oh, up, hold oh, okay. up. Oh, on that on, on that album but i didn't see none of that so i'm like okay so you want to try and show love to other people while you're having unnecessary beef with other people like it doesn't so if well. you it's didn't have opinion. an unnecessary beef jabber, your opinion yeah talk. we are talking uh, about your opinion you think that now. you came on this table to say your opinion and we're not we're not interacting with you no, no, what's no, wrong with you me, I'm just and let me ask my question now. then i'm trying uh, to be a lucy on you calm down so why did you give that lucy i'm going to come off it and let's move on you to come off it let's go on all right if 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 um, what's his name? If Davido didn't have an issue, quote unquote, speculated issue mm. with Burner Boy, and he I did didn't this, even mention name. No, he he's Burner Boy. Of course, people that watch the time is. are woke he, people, he, he, so they've seen the news. He doesn't have to be woke. Listen to the lyrics. Does anybody want to speculate? It is oh, Burner Boy. Who else is oh, Burner Boy? Wow. Who else is Odo? Who else is there? Uh, we like to party. Anyway, whatever. Um, my question is, if he didn't have that issue with speculated issue with Burner Boy, and he did what he did on his Instagram with YBN, would you have an issue? I'm talking about precedence. I'm here. asking No, no, I'm, and I'm getting to the answer of your question. Okay. You need to remember that I'm a lawyer. So, yeah. <laughs> no, you're a lawyer. Yeah. You're certainly a lawyer. I've, I've always been. But you've yeah. always said that you're not, not a lawyer. lawyer. So you're not a lawyer. Mm. You're not a lawyer. Mm. We should not hold you for anything. Yeah, but I have a legal background. That's the thing. Okay. Oh, continue. yeah, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> Kanayo, Kanayo. Why are you trying to shade him that he has a background? He's a lawyer. He's a lawyer now. He has been called to lawyer. All right, so back to what I was saying, yeah. I am. I don't have a problem with the fact that um, David Doe and Bonham or the speculations were going on about them. If they did not have any speculations going on, mm -hmm. I probably would still say the same thing because it's based on precedence. We've seen David Doe jump on the bandwagons of people that are having beef with each other and say, you call. Give an so example. Is there a beef Give between Olamide and Bonaboy? 
No, I don't understand. If I really still don't get your point, but I get not, it. That, not that I get I it, but I don't get it. You, yeah, you, you not made your point. The, is, so I, 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 I will stick to the you get it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I mean, good kudos to him. If he says that there's bangers and he's heard it, they've heard it. For me, what really stood out was when he said Afrobeats is now massive, and mm -hmm. I have to agree. I think, I think we have blown this thing out of proportion that we don't even know. Um, how massive this this industry has become. I think growing up, we've always had Afrobeats, but it wasn't this big. It wasn't this. It's become a universal type of music. Like when you talk about the West, the Western music, and you put Latino mm. music, you can put Afrobeats next mm. to that um, list in terms of it being that massive. And I like that Nigeria is leading that front. And I think we're also in really good hands. Even the upcoming artists, the youngings are doing massive in this industry with the Afrobeats and stuff. So I'm really excited about that to be able to have something that's associated to our culture, where I'm from, I can, and I can be proud of. So if, the, if, if Olamide says the song is banger, the song is banger, that's on mm -hmm. period. Yeah, and, yeah, and if Olamide says so, he says so himself. So I actually believe him because all his songs are bangers. I don't know if exactly. you guys have listened to Eru. Eru is my jam of the moment. Anyway, still. it's dropping this year, and that's the important part for me. I can't wait for it to drop so I can have Next something month, to actually. update my list while I'm coming and going home. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, shout out to Davido and um, shout out to his haters as well. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> After three years, Cardi B files for divorce from Offset and brands her marriage irretrievably broken. A source told people that Offset's infidelity was the breaking point, claiming he had pretty much cheated throughout the marriage. The couple had broken up and reconciled at least twice since tying the knot in secret in 2017. Kadi is also seeking mm -hmm. joint custody of their daughter and child support. Big shout out to Cardi B for making a decision because sometimes a lot of people are pressured by the type of um, public relationship that they have and they feel like, okay, because I don't want to let the fans down because people are writing in the comment section that, oh, I love you two together. You guys look so good together. Mm. Culture is beautiful. Culture looks like offset. Then it doesn't mean that you don't have the right to your happiness because mm. at the end of the day, in a marriage, what counts the most is how happy you are. Are you, are you actually in a good place? in a marriage because if a guy keeps cheating on you over and over and over and over again it's enough it's, it's enough to keep kick him to the cob right and um, at the end of the day um, she forgave him when he came on stage and indeed some extra vegan so before I even went in depth into the research of the story I told people that look guess what yeah this is not the first time that Cardi B has done this before you know it um, this guy will probably get a Grammy award and dedicate it to mm -hmm. Cardi B on stage and then she'll come on stage and be like oh uh, okay, Madu, <laughs> and then we forgive all over, and we forgive offset all over again, and then we, she takes him back. But she's saying this time it's not going to happen. So I hope it stays that way because um, your mental health and your happiness is what is most important. And this is not just going out to Cardi B. This is going out to all the women out there that think that they have to keep up a face mm. for their marriage to be good or for that. This so story really, really, really breaks my heart. I don't know. I've never really followed them or whatever, but I know that she she likes the idea of having a family and, you know, mm. you know, just having, having a, a husband, by her side, yeah, yeah. having a man by your side and having mm. someone to help you raise your child and everything. So it's kind of heartbreaking to know that, unfortunately, that's not going to happen, at least not with offsets. Um, divorce is very messy, and I know she's a grown woman. So for wh whatever reason it is, it has made her to get to that decision. She must have felt like she really had to do that. Mm. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping that they can co-parent well. For me, grown adults not having a thing is very natural. My issue or my worry or where I really get edgy is when there's a child involved because um, divorce can be very detrimental to um, the children's he uh, mental health and just entire lives, really. So I'm hoping that they can do really well on that front to, to, to parent well. We've seen a lot of celebrities who have been excellent um, co-parent um, partners and raising their children really well, and they have a family vibe to it. Because I, I still think that culture des deserves that. So if they can find a way to work through that, I'll be very happy. I don't know whether or not they will get back together or... If this is a done deal, done, done deal but um, it, it's, it, it's something that I can understand because for me, if you are a perpetual um, Cheat. cheater, then it, it's a different kind of uh, a, a different kind of struggle. Especially if you're now, you know, out there in the, in the open with a lot of people looking up to you, knowing that your man isn't even 
necessarily yours. It's like not you're, even respecting you. Yeah, so I yeah. feel like it's I think really, that's the word, respect. Yeah, I feel like it's really disrespectful because then you're giving other people... I, like how, I, I just try <laughs> to imagine, like, how do I go around with my head high saying that I'm married to someone when I can easily get a response to say, well, he was in my bed last week mm -hmm. or something. So yeah. that's For a me, I, I woke up to the um, story and it was really sad. And I was hoping that this is just one of those stories and that she'll come out to debunk it mm. and say, oh, we're back together. But that's over how many hours ago and she has not done that. So apparently this is happening. Um, I'm not sure she'll get to that point of taking him back. Even if that's going to happen, it's probably not going to be now. I feel mm. like this divorce is going to go through. For her to finally have filed that paper, I think the hearing is in fourth of on the fourth of November mm. or thereabouts. Yeah. So um, I wish Everyone's her the very best. Removed. <clears throat> and I'm guessing she would um, rap about it as well because yeah. she's been rapping a lot about her WAP. You know, so maybe this time around she will put this part into her how music. Our WAP is not good enough. Oh, okay, that was not the point, but I'm sure Kadi gets my point. Burn. It's time for a quick break, but when we come back, we'll be heading over to Ghana with a guest who'll be discussing an entertainment issue in Ghana. We'll be right back. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Ghana DJ Awards introduced this new category called the Lockdown DJ Award to honor lockdown DJs. The category will recognize DJs who exceptionally entertained music fans during the COVID-19 lockdown. Ghana DJ Awards recognizes DJs, musicians across over 20 categories. And now joining us via Zoom to talk about this new category is a DJ from Ghana, DJ Datsun. Hi, JP Datsun. Hi, how are you doing, Elsie? Fine, thank you. Thank you for joining. Now, what, what do you think this um, award would do to um, um, the entertainment industry, basically? Well, I think it's going to motivate a lot of DJs to be creative, regardless of their circumstances. Because throughout the lockdowns, one main excuse for DJs was that, hey, we don't have shows, you know, we can go and play out there and make some money. But this award is going to show that you don't need to go out there and play shows to be a DJ. There are different ways to be creative as a DJ. You know, you can be creative online, you can work on music, you can release content, you can create your own DJ shows as well. So it's definitely going to inspire a lot of DJs. I don't know about the name Lockdown DJ, but I guess we have to take it mm. as it comes. All right, so um, what's up, JP? So for me, right, I'm I'll just like to know about, do, do you think it, there has to be a pandemic or, or COVID-19 before DJs are being acknowledged, especially in our award ceremonies? Because right now they're making it look like, okay, because they entertained us. But left to me, right, I've been looking up to DJs for a long time because um, even if I want to download songs that I like, I go to a DJ playlist to download or even buy it on iTunes or whatever, or Play Store gotcha. or wherever. But right now, do you think that there has to be a pandemic before DJs are being recognized in award ceremonies? What's your take on that? Well, there doesn't have to be a pandemic for DJs to recognize. But the interesting thing is that this Ghana DJ Award is an awards show for DJs, mm. you know, so you're looking at, it's just, it's a being show. So it's just a category that has been created for the lockdown period, you know, and that's what's happening because um, DJs aren't really recognized that much in other award categories. So yeah. I'm proud of the Ghana DJ Awards for putting up this initiative and awarding DJs regardless of what's going on. All right, so, but do you think that this would actually impact the award ceremonies where there will be a category for DJs and after this is done, this will set a precedence for them to actually recognize DJs that are putting in the work? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because there's some DJs that put in extra, extra work during the lockdown period. They went over and beyond. There were DJs that had weekly shows on Instagram and other platforms, you know, but... Uh, yeah, DJs that release some videos, it pushes the creativity bar to the next level. So definitely it is an inspiration for DJs and it motivates them to let them know that they don't need to wait for a lockdown, you know, a pandemic to be creative in their field. All right, I just wanted to ask though, what is the culture of 
culture like in Ghana for DJs. A good example for me in terms of taking DJs very seriously in South Africa, they just don't get a bunch of songs and make a playlist. They're quite involved in the songs and sometimes they even have their own sound or whatever. So I wanted to ask though, I know that every, every section needs to be appreciated, but I wanted your insights on the level of intensity that the DJs function in, in Ghana. What, what's your thoughts on that? Well, it's, um, it's climbing up. You know, the artists are always the stars of the show, regardless of, you know, what's going on. But um, the DJs are also pushing. The DJs that have released singles that have climbed up to number one on the charts. You know, the DJs that have released music videos that are uncomparable, you know, to other artists as well. So it is a push and it is a plus. And for the DJ scene as well, you know, the nightlife, scene in Ghana is bubbling. If he has been to Ghana and he knows what I'm talking about, Friday nights, Saturday nights, weekend, all day round, DJs are always busy. You know, they may not be as popular as artists, but there's definitely room for it. And through this award scheme and um, other releases as well, DJs are coming up into a landline. Okay, so before we let you go quickly, I would like you to tell us the five um, top songs in Ghana right now. I mean, you're a DJ. So what are the top five songs um, people are jamming to in Ghana right well, now? You're going to put me on a spot right there. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some artists that are my friends, so I, I have to pass here. But two songs that are raining in Ghana right now, Stoneboy, Putu, and Shatawales already. Already was released earlier, but after the music video with Beyonce, it's just shut up into the limelight. Mm -hmm. There's another song that is bubbling up in Ghana, Tania, um, Jolie, that's been played all over the place. Um, who else? Darko Vibes. Mm. Darko Vibes and um, Kim Promise also have a song in a song, and that's also bubbling as well. And there's also Quick Afro with Fiesta, which is gradually climbing up the charts. All right, so Beyonce's birthday was a few weeks ago or like a week ago and um shatawali and when the shape plan to release a song to celebrate her birthday what's your take on that do you think that um a song should actually be done in honor of um the queen bee for her birthday based on the fact that she had a collaboration with shatawali well um you know as as you know we're the entertainment industry and it is really entertaining if artists stay on top of the social conversations mm. so it's um, it's an interesting idea you know i know i don't know how beyonce is going to feel about it but <laughs> i think it's really interesting and shatawale really plays well when it comes to social commentary mm. you know mm. so i think it's a, it's a big move on her side whether the song climbs up to the charts or not it's definitely going to make waves and it's going to pop up in conversations as it's popped up on Tea Time's conversation today as well. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, um, JP Datsin, for joining us on Tea Time. You're welcome. You're okay. Welcome. Tea Time continues. Thank you guys for having me on the show as well. You're welcome. Next tea time, time I'm going to be in Nigeria. I'm going to be with you. Right. <laughs> we'll definitely That'll look forward nice. to having you in the yeah. studio. Kim Kardashian urges fans to join Facebook and Instagram freeze in a new anti-hate campaign. Um, the social media sensation will be freezing her Instagram and Facebook account for 24 hours. In her caption, she said, and I quote, I love that I can connect directly with you through Instagram and Facebook, but I can't sit by and stay silent while these platforms continue to allow the spreading of hate, propaganda, and misinformation created by groups to sow division and split America apart, only to take steps after people are killed, end of quote. Other stars shutting down their social media for a day as part of the um, Stop Hate for profit initiatives include Katy Perry, Jennifer Loss, Lawrence, Ashton Kucha, Amy Schumer, and Michael B. Jordan. I have to bring this back to Nigeria where um, there's a hate speech bill that was passed and that mm -hmm. is um, to help politicians. But in this case, we're just talking about the general public. You don't have to be a politician for you to be affected by hate speech or by the hate of other people on your platform. Yes, putting your life on our um, social media is um, 
it's our business, right? But um, there's something called selective omission as well, in my opinion, where a lot of people need to be selective about the things they omit from social media. And But that doesn't disregard the fact that um, eight is still there. And um, I think um, we need to just focus and um, let it be known that I like this idea. It's like a Black Tuesday, Black Lives Matter. You can't just keep going to people's platforms and be spreading hate stuff yeah. or be spreading hate gist and think that it's okay. It's not okay. Yeah, if I, I want to also touch on what impact you think this will have on Instagram and Facebook. Well, honestly as well. speaking, yeah. that's where I'm trying to get to. I don't know how this really would make a proper impact on one day boycotting, mm. especially when it's not the whole Instagram. I, I don't, I, personally speaking, I don't see how this is going to make Well, any... um, for me, so just to answer that, or the way I think it would impact Facebook mm -hmm. and Instagram is the fact that a lot of the celebrities are getting paid for adverts and a lot of companies are making a lot of money based on the advert that these celebrities put out. So if the celebrities... Adverts? I'm confused. It's like... Um, like Kim basically Kardashian paying Kim to post. Paid to That's post. not going to Instagram. Uh, it goes to Kim. No, no. I'm talking about now on Twitter. Now you're not getting to pay for anything. Now you're it's not being able to put these, something out there. I think that yeah. answers the question. But because we'll probably because, have the conversation yeah, on the next yeah. episode. I'm mm -hmm. bringing someone that can maybe answer that question for us. But that's how much we can take on this episode. Thank you for watching and please send your opinions via WhatsApp to 090 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Also catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Men Television. My thank you as always go to my interesting co-anchors Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shankaye and the entire production team. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe.